Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas with your story loaded into the map. Hi, Victor. You're actually Victor now. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thank you, Victor. I see you brought some friends. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. No problem. I'll head up by myself. Come back soon now. Nice. Wait, where's the... Oh. I'm apparently not very good at identifying doors. Right, so you want me to go on the elevator, right? Hey. Be advised. Visitors will be held responsible for the behavior of any robots accompanying them. Alright, so... Can't I actually gamble? I suppose the place isn't actually open. Oh. Let's go see house then. Right. No? No. Where to, partner? I guess the penthouse. Penthouse floor. Right then. You. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Uh. Can you tell me about Mr. House? Why, sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Uh. Sure. Sounds like you're pretty fond of him. Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. I didn't realize robots would have such strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neuro-computational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. So, you're a copy of a dead woman. What exactly do you do for Mr. House? Mr. House has a lot of needs, sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Alrighty then. Uh, I really don't know what to think about that. Then maybe you shouldn't pry into a lady's particulars, mm hmm? Let's talk about Anything something else. You like, sugar? Um, um, who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Um, yeah, um, um, um what can you tell about New oh, Vegas? There's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? Uh, tell me about the three families. They're just new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. Their marriages especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Tell me about the casinos. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. And the lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Tell me about the other attractions. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here. But why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Yes, okay, let's talk about something else. Anything you like, sugar. Uh, what's with the snow globe collection? Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, 
You might even find it. Uh, I've got the snow globe. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. That's 2,000 caps. I could have gotten in for that money. What kind of robots are you? Why, I'm a Robco PDQ-88B Mark I Securitron. You silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. Right, uh, what is this place? This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino. Or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. Alright then, bye. Um, yes. That's what I said. Bye. Uh. Alright, so where's the snow Enjoy globe? all the Vegas Strip has to offer. Uh, maybe. Where is the snow globe? Move the collection, but where was the collection prior to when they moved it? Oh, I'm allowed to take three more money. Nice. I had the cigarettes. It's like they don't even care about the possessions. Alright then. There doesn't seem to be any sign of the snow globe right here. What was that? I don't know. Didn't seem to be of any particular issue there. Mm. Come on, where's the snow globe? It's got to be around here somewhere. Right? Unless it was downstairs before, which I won't believe. It's got to be up here somewhere. It's got to be. I probably should pull my gun out in the middle of a casino. Hey, hey, Mr. House. Have you seen where your snow globe is? I'm kind of looking for it. Have a nice day. Yeah, yeah you too. Apparently I could hack that terminal if I wanted to, but that will get me no closer to finding the snow globe. I can have a nap here. That's nice. I think it's a dresser. Casual wear. No sign of the snow globe. Nothing in desk. Uh, what if it's not actually here? What if it's just a distraction? Hello, house. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Uh, I prefer the way to be honest. I've never seen anything like this place. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the Strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Why the VIP treatment? I'm just a courier. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Okay, let's get down to business then. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. What do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? I have a few questions before I decide. What did you wish to know? Uh, what is the platinum chip? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. 
That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. The more I know about the chip, the easier I can find it. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. Oh, right, no more. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it and I paid for it dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of US dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for them. If the chip is so valuable, why use a single courier to transport it? You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Why did you send your robots to the dubs to arrest Benny? Frontal assaults on casinos. Not good for business. In any case, Benny would see it coming. And all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Hmm... Well, exactly, who exactly are you, Mr. House? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the new Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. You appear to be a computer, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. The last span you're claiming is impossible, except for cools and super mutants. I see you've made a study of the topic. My knowledge of the science of longevity would fill several textbooks. Perhaps after a decade or two of economic reconstruction, I can commercialize these technologies and offer them to others, such as yourself. How have you stayed alive all this time? Let's just say it was very... costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. How did you establish New Vegas? We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. Alright, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Hmm, tell me about the factions vying for New Vegas. It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the platinum chip has been recovered. What else did you want to know? Tell me your terms again. As I said before, Benny's fate is yours to decide. Once you've delivered the chip, I will pay you the amount agreed upon. Alright, I accept those terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the Platinum Chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Uh, yes, I have some questions. What else did you want to know? How to get to Benny? It won't be easy. 
Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the tops. Yes, the chairmen are your employees, don't they take orders? It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. Say I want to take a diplomatic approach? If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Any ideas on how I could catch him off guard? Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Tell me about Benny. Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. What useful do you have for a protege? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy, but in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. Why did Benny betray you? I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Why didn't you intervene sooner when Benny ambushed me? Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determined the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. Alright, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Like how to kill you. Well enough. Oh, I didn't know Be that. Do that. Hey, tell me where the globe is. That's all I want. What does this terminal do? Strategist. <laughs> Seriously? Okay. I'm cool with that. Um, what does this do? Open antechamber. Uh, no. Okay. Enjoy all the Vegas strip has to offer. I'm sorry I was tempted to open the empty chamber to see what was over there, but I, I, I decided I would not because you would probably get angry at me. And stuff. And that's probably not where the snow globe is. Probably. Where is the snow globe collection currently, anyway? Is it downstairs somewhere? Come on. Snow globe, where are you? I don't see any signs of the current collection. So this is a kitchen corner. Not really sure why that's necessary. Guess it's an antique of the past. And other than that, there's nothing here. Well, Victor. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. 
Enjoy the days, partner. They're plenty fancy. Nifty. Uh, that's that one then. High roller sweet. Nice. So this entire thing is my sweet. Sweet. Okay, what's here? Well, I guess what's here is a mess. What's this then? Upgrade suit? Oh. Oh, well, hello. So I can create a... Wait, 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 wait. It doesn't seem to work, really. Why is it... Okay, um... I'm gonna sell you things. Computer, I'm gonna sell you things. That should work fine. Or maybe I'm gonna pay you things. Let's see. Nope. Alright, that will do. Thanks and goodbye. That looks better, I think. Less, no, still a mess. Never mind. Not really sure what real difference I made here. And I have a weapon trunk. Weapon trunk number one and weapon trunk number two, where I can place my that gun and my weather 10 mm pistol and my wrestler. And think of the T-Rex souvenir. And chopper. And I think that's it. Cool. I'll probably have a wardrobe somewhere as well. Yeah, plenty. Ooh, what's in here? Pre-war hat and 30 pre-war business wear. Uh, is there dry cleaners here or something? Yeah, I should be Antipone. Or however that's pronounced. I don't really know. What else do we have? Ooh. A path? A path, you mean? Or maybe a plunger? Yeah, that's certainly something. Where shall I keep all my spatulas? Hmm. Hmm. I guess I could maybe. I don't really know. Hey, basketball. On the villa. Good. Alright, there's some beds here. Nice. I was kind of tempted to try and use a bed to set my spawn. Right. That doesn't actually work, does it? Nope. I'll reload if I die. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Some of you didn't increase notice. For example, this carton of cigarettes. Many times I went past it without even realizing I can make this past it float. Game design.